In this video, we'll have a look at the key differences between a membership or a subscription model. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so when it comes to membership, typically you're offering some kind of exclusive content with that membership or community, right? Usually community is the main focus of a membership. That's what we usually see, all right? Whereas with a subscription, so typically you're periodically offering access to content. So which business model you choose will be based on your business objective, right? And your goals as well. So typically when it comes to membership, that usually lasts longer for many reasons, which we'll cover in a second, right? Whereas with subscriptions, it's typically shorter than memberships, right? That's why with a lot of software company, they're focusing more on a community as well. So they want to get that membership aspect in the mix, which makes sense. Okay, so we'll dive a bit deeper into understanding the differences between a subscription and a membership model, right? To help you ultimately make a better decision for your business. All right, so let's have a look at these differences. So again, when it comes to membership, it's usually community focus. Okay, so for example, with Science Lab here, they've currently got a membership, right? And you can go ahead and go for the basic plan where you get access to their course and everything. However, if you want access to their community, we can see the price increases dramatically, right? So this kind of just puts an emphasis on how much value having a community aspect has on your business, right? So that's where community comes in. Okay, so inherently, memberships usually have more retention built in, right? Because we stick around for other people. We don't typically stick around just for the product only. We want that human interaction, right? And having a membership component can help dramatically differentiate your offering to a competitor's offering. Um, with memberships as well, you also get the benefit of user generated content. So there's been times in the past where I've run a membership site and let's say a particular member had an issue with the theme that we were selling at the time. Another member would actually jump in and help that particular member resolve their problem without us having to do anything. So a membership as well can also be a subscription. You can also add a subscription component to your membership, just like the example we just showed. Right. When it comes to subscription, this is usually transactional. For example, I pay for my Netflix subscription. There isn't a community element to it as such, right? I just pay for my subscription. If I don't pay, then I don't get access to that, right? And it's, so it's just transactional. As a business owner as well, there's less personal involvement because you don't have to constantly be in the community, engaging with the community. Right? So there's less personal investment on your side. So with subscriptions, typically you usually give your subscribers access to content on a regular basis, right? Sticking to the Netflix example. For them to keep me sticking around, they need to constantly add new films and stuff, right? A subscription cannot be a membership at the same time, right? If that's the case, it will ultimately be a membership since the membership can have a subscription component. So again, to summarize with a membership, you get exclusive access, whether that's to a community, exclusive content, so on, right? Whereas with a subscription, you'll get access on a regular basis. And typically there isn't a community component involved. Hopefully this video has allowed you to better understand the differences between a subscription and a membership model. And now you can go ahead and choose an appropriate one for your business. In the comment box below, let me know which model you go with and why. So others can also learn from your decision.